Hey folks, it's Mike here. I just want to welcome you back to Mr. Cast Iron and I just want to kind of show you a little bit of Teresa's fall festival, fall shrine here I call it. She got a little old hoppy horse here made out of a tire. <laughs> got a bandana on it there and there's a scarecrow and all the different ones. Got her bale of straw and some mums there and everything. So, you know, fall's in the air and today we're going to make a good old pork loin roast out of uh, uh, in our cast iron cook it all so you guys hang on we're gonna get to it we'll see you in just a minute well here's the star of the show we got about a four pound pork loin roast and i uh, got a little bit of uh hendrickson marinade here so we're gonna get this thing unpackaged washed up a little bit and uh start to put put it in a bag and marinate it for uh, i'm gonna marinate it two or three hours at least and uh, once we get that done, we'll be back here and uh, get this thing in the fire. Oh, hey folks, guess what time it is. Time to get some charcoal going here for firewood. And, uh, we're gonna get some coals heated up and we're gonna cook a pork roast today. Since it's Sunday, I remember growing up as a kid, mama made a, a roast of some kind, either a pot roast or a pork roast. Uh, so I've got a pretty good size pork roast, but I just decided to make a, a roast today. So let get some charcoal going here, some coals, and We'll get after it. Right, well, we got our lodge cast iron cook it all out here on the uh, cook stand down in the fire pit. Got some coals around it. Gonna preheat this uh, cast iron cook it all a little bit. And then uh, I've got also uh, brought out my uh, pork roast and I've been letting it marinate for a pretty good little while, about three or four hours. And what we're using today was Hendrickson's original sweet vinegar and olive oil. And uh, so we let that dude marinate, like I said, about three or four hours. The only thing we're gonna add to it today is naturally some SPG. Uh, and I'm probably gonna put a little bit of Slap Your Mama on it. And probably a little bit of Strawberry Shake on it. And uh, not a whole lot, cause Teresa doesn't like it a whole lot. Uh, real spicy or anything. So we'll uh, be sure and take care of her for that. But anyway, Give me just a little bit. We'll let this cast iron cook it all heat up and uh, we're gonna put that uh, pot roast in there and let it sear a little bit on both sides. And uh, we'll get ready. We're gonna make a roast today, folks. Let's go ahead and get this thing out and season it up. Well, it's a good looking pork roast there, pork corn. And uh, like I said, we've had it uh, marinating for three or four hours. Now this has still got the fat cap on it, folks, and I'm not gonna take that off. I'm gonna continue to let that uh, season our meat and what you want to do is leave your fat up your fat side up and so all the goodies and the juices will uh, be sure and cook down into your meat and so let's go ahead and uh, get a little SPG on this Slap your mama's on there. I remember before this ever even became real popular, I used to say that all the time. It was so good, it make you want to slap your mama. You know what I mean? And, uh, anyway, we'll get a little bit of that on there. Flip that dude over. And we'll add a little bit of SPG. Slap your mama. And we'll put a little bit of strawberries on this. And that's all we're gonna do to it, folks. We're just gonna leave that on there like that. And uh, I've got about uh, two tablespoons of bacon grease in the cast iron cook it all letting it heat up so we're gonna fry this up a little bit oh yeah oh 
that is what I'm talking about right there. Well, we'll go ahead and get this browned up on both sides. Once we get that browned up, we're gonna put the lid on it, put some coals on top. We're gonna cook this dude for about an hour, uh, roughly 350 degrees. I got my coals going there real good, so we ought to be able to keep a fire, good hot fire going for a little while. And uh, so we'll get this going. We'll show you what's, what it looks like here in just a minute. Hang on, okay? All right, well, we've let that uh, brown up quite a bit. And uh, look at that, look at the color on that. It's already got a little bit of juice going on in here, so we won't have to add any juice to this. We're gonna go ahead and put our lid on it. And uh, we'll get ready and add some coal to that. And see if we can get this thing heated up. We'll let this cook for about an hour and we'll be back here in just a little bit and show you what she looks like. Looking. Oh yeah. Cooked up quite a bit. So I'm gonna take and add some things to this. Uh, I've got some vegetables I want to put in here. I've got some celery, some onions, and uh Carrots. And also some red potatoes I'm gonna put in there. I'm gonna let these dudes cook down. All these potatoes in there. Well, that sounds good, don't it? And we can get some All right, now, a couple other things I want to add to this. Some uh, Lipton onion soup mix. Just a little bit of Worcestershire sauce for that. About, uh, about that much. I'm gonna add a little bit of uh, chicken broth to that here in just a little bit too, but I'm gonna let that cook down for just a minute. We'll get the lid back on this. That go about 30 minutes and we'll come back and check it. Now there's two ways to check pork. Of course, one is to Use an insta read thermometer, and according to that, we're about 196, 197, so that's certainly done. But one way mama always taught me was stick a fork in it. If it comes out smooth, it's probably done. And that's pretty done. So, potatoes feel like they're pretty done. Onions are done, carrots are done, celery certainly done. So I'm gonna get this out of the fire and uh, we're gonna get ready. And, uh, I'm gonna add.
add some cornstarch to this to make a gravy. Thicken that roast up a little bit. and just have sandwiches with it. Teresa's home for church from, from church, so I'll let her try it. See what you think about it. gonna plate this up and uh, get a bite of it here in just a minute all right well got miss cast iron here with me today and uh, she's got these pretty little old platters again these cast iron serving trays I love them and uh, we just made some old pot roast today uh, in the cast iron cook it all and so we're gonna give it a try. All we got here is just a pork loin. It was about a four pound pork loin. We got some carrots. Boy, they look good. Got some potatoes and uh, certainly some onion and uh, celery in this and the pork loin. Mm. Wow. Mm. Man, man, man. Try a 
I'll leave that purple one up. Wow. That's pretty good. That's good. Very good. Oh, good flavor to it. Very good flavor. Put it in there. Well, all we did with this today, folks, was, uh, of course, we marinated it in uh, that Hendrix uh, marinade that Teresa had. It was a garlic and a sweet vinegar marinade. I marinated the pork loin for about four hours. And um, then we got it out and we took and put uh, a little bit of SPGO on it, salt, pepper, garlic powder, and onion powder. And uh, I shook on just a little bit of strawberries lightly because Teresa didn't like it heavy. And I put some uh, Slap Your Mama on there just lightly and uh, rubbed all that in. We took and browned the pot roast, or not pot roast, but the uh, pork loin uh, in the skillet with a little bacon grease, browned both sides, all sides. And uh, then we started adding all of our vegetables to it. And once we got all the vegetables, uh, the uh, red uh, uh, potatoes, uh, carrots, onions, and celery, then we added, uh, about a, oh, I don't know, I guess that's probably whatever one of those whole boxes of, of chicken broth is. I guess it's probably about uh, two cups, I guess. And uh, we just let that cook on the fire, open pit, and uh, just kept monitoring the temperature, kept monitoring uh, everything. You don't, it's not just to let it, set it and let it go. You've got to watch that when you're out on a fire pit or you'll burn something up. Actually, my pork loin actually stuck a little bit to the bottom because uh, it was getting hot but anyway it still turned out real good and uh, we're pleased with it so we're gonna have a little lunch here on this Sunday afternoon and uh, this was just kind of in memory of my mom mom and Teresa's mom also uh, always made a pot roast or some kind of uh, uh, pork roast on Sunday after church or whatever and so I didn't go to church today I should have kind of had church out here in the wild open out in the backyard and just thanking the good Lord for life in general and and uh, just all the many blessings that we have going on. I know these are tough times. There's a lot of uh, hate and discontent in the world and uh, I just get a lot of enjoyment out here cooking and I can get away and think and uh, thank the good Lord for all the blessings that uh, I have. And uh, so it was just kind of a dedication towards my mom and Teresa's mom and I just wanted to, to make a pot roast while Teresa was gone to church, kind of surprise her a little bit. And uh, just have, not pot roast, but pork loin. I keep saying pot roast. The difference between pot roast and a pork loin is pot roast is always made out of beef and just a pork roast is, is pork loin. So anyway, hey, we appreciate you guys taking the time to watch us. And uh, we certainly thank each and every one of you, especially all you guys that have subscribed to our channel. If you've not yet done that, we ask that you just hit the subscribe button and uh, we look forward to coming back to you soon. You guys have a great day. It's Mike and Miss Cash Iron over here. We'll see you later.